Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are initiating a series on optimization with ComSol Multiphysics. This particular series will be helpful for the people who are trying to utilize ComSol Multiphysics for their optimization problem. I will be talking about the scopes of optimization with ComSol in this particular series. I am still working on this particular optimization and as I proceed with my knowledge, I will be uploading more and more videos and I hope this particular series will be helpful. If you have any queries, you can write them in the comment section and I will be trying to working on working based on your comments and uploading more and more videos. So today I will be initiating with simple parametric optimization, which is the basic step of any optimization process. The idea of this particular video is to understand how to set up a particular optimization problem in ComSol and then we'll be learning bit about the options which are available in the setting window which you have to play around with. So let's uh, start the today's uh, optimization problem that means the modeling of the optimization problem. So for that what I did is I actually took the parameters which are already available in ComSol. So those parameters will be needed to define a particular differential equation which we are trying to solve and then we will be defining an optimization function and we will be minimizing that optimization function. So that is all. So we go to add physics and I go to mathematics. I'll be taking general OD. So general OD has been taken. I have written the differential equation here. So you can see this is the differential equation where we have a frequency term 1 by f. Ut defines time derivative of the dependent variable u. So u is the dependent variable here. T is the independent variable and a, b, c are constants and I have jotted down all the constants here. w or omega is the angular frequency which is 2 pi f we all know. So now let me copy this particular differential equation and let me put it in the general ODE form. So initially I need to define the dependent variable which is u. So let us define u here and paste the differential equation. So this is done. Now what I need to do is I need to actually solve this particular differential equation and after I solve I'll, I'll see how exactly the solution is. So simply we have defined the equation all the parameters have already been defined. So I can I have taken the study under the time dependent study this is being solved up to 100 second because I know uh, the time scale but if we don't know then we, what we can do is we can initially work up to one second and then we can uh, change it. So let us solve it for one second. So it will take some time. So you can see this is how it is progressing. So still the it is a upward function. So maybe the time scale is not 1. So let us solve it for 10 seconds. So let's see what happens. I solved it for 10 seconds. So you can see still it is growing and growing. So we should move further. So let me make it 100 seconds. Yeah. So again I have clicked on compute. It will start computing and you can see this is how the solution looks. So after a certain time where you can see after around 30, 40 seconds what it hap what happens is it is almost becoming constant. So now we will be defining one optimization function. So how to define that we have taken another study you have to right click on the study and you will see there is an option optimization. From there you will be getting different options. I will be taking the optimization one and uh, there are different methods. 
so methods means different schemes for optimization i'll be making a video on what those different available schemes signify the uh, comsol has a user user module user guide for this particular optimization chapter so i am working on it i am uh, studying that particular chapter so in that chapter those things are defined i'll try to put that chapter link in the description box so that you can download it and you can learn from there so i'll be taking this ipopt so far i did a literature ipopt is a gradient based solver so it basically calculates the gradient and thereby it optimizes so uh, in optimization you need to define two things one is your optimization function and another is parameter which parameter you want to optimize so initially we'll be defining the optimization function which is comp1 dot u minus u0 square so this is the optimization function so what we are basically defining so we are basically defining that you should estimate u0 such a way that this function would become minimum so this is the thing we want from this optimization calculation and so this you can say as square error so we are calculating error we have defined a certain u0 initially which is 0.25 but i do not know for which value of u0 this function is going to be zero so that is why this optimization will keep on changing the value of u0 until it reaches to the minimum optimization point so this is a minimization problem that's why i mean by default also it is minimization but had it been a maximization problem i would have chosen this maximization option so you have to define the parameter so we are actually yeah we are actually optimizing the parameter u0 that's why we define u0 so the initial value is taken uh, i define a lower bound say 0 to 3 i do not know what it would be but actually i know because you can see the value of this particular thing does not go beyond 1.7 that is why i know uh, it is 0 to 3 but in real problem you may not know the bound then you may have to do a trial and error or you have to you have to study your problem better so that you can understand the range and then that range you can put but this is for the learning purpose so we know the range would be somewhere between 0 to 3 so i put it here now it is asking for some constraint some constraint means when you define a particular optimization function then you may have certain restrictions or certain conditions those, those are called constraints in the language of optimization if you have such then you have to define it here we don't have any such constraint so what i can do i can see yeah most of the things are already defined uh, it is asking for which solutions to keep i command it or by default it is commanding only the last step because yeah after the optimization happened we want to see what happened so that's why i'm storing the data for the last step so then it has a time dependent option as well so now let me do the optimization i click on compute i hope it works so you can see the convergence plot okay so let me see the plot so what i will be plotting i will be plotting this u minus u0 let me see what is the value of u0 after i did the you can see it is becoming 0.12 so for 
once again the value is 0 0.12 but if we uh, if we make it bigger say 100 as it is done here then the value of u0 should change so let me check what happens when I make the time 100 second so the simulation has started I guess it's taking some time let me pause the video and come back yeah the simulation is over now for 100 second you can see the value of u0 has changed now it is showing 1.6 something because uh, as you see the particular function so it actually changes the value with respect to time so if you define the time then your u0 will be different so when we are working in the 100 second range so we are working here but when we are working in the one second range so we, we were somewhere here so in that case the optimization function in order to make it zero it has to be somewhere bit, somewhere in 0.2 and we had actually got the same and when we are working in the domain of 100 second then it has to be somewhere in 1.6 which is the case you can see so similar this is this was a very simple optimization function but as we proceed we, we have done this we can take complicated optimization function and we can actually optimize it in the next video I'll try to define a complicated optimization function and I'll try to optimize it with respect to certain parameters so today I stop here if you are liking our videos do subscribe to our channel and share these videos with your peers thank you